Here's a couple of releases from Airfix in their vintage classic range, the Guards Band and the Guards Colour Party, which I think haven't been available since the end of the 60s, so very, very vintage. First created in 1961, so I'm expecting soft moulds, but let's have a look inside and see what we get. So here you have it. This is the guards band. There's Don't ask me to name the instruments. And the drummers, there uh, they've got small, they've got the drums to fit, and one of these is going to be, I think this guy gets this big, big drum here. So let's bring this sprue in close to the camera and get it focused and see if we can have a look at the detail levels. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go away, I'm going to wash them and I'm going to hit them with some primer to see, to really bring out the detail levels. Very, very basic faces, fairly static poses, as you might expect. Bit of flash here. And to accompany them, we have the guards party, the colour party, actually doing the marching. There are quite a lot of them in this pose. Hold on. So we've got two sprues of them, three sprues of them marching with shoulder arms and so hold on, there we go. So flag. Not sure what you call the one who's actually directing. And these two with... Also, don't ask me what the actual proper phrase for arms at that position is. And we have two guard boxes. So, yes, they're going to need a, a clean and then hit them with primer and I'll come back in a little while with them primed, see if uh, we can get a better idea of the detail on them. And here are the uh, guards painted up, well, primed up anyway. So, brings out a little bit more of the detail. And I know I'm holding them really close to the camera so they keep dipping in and out of focus. But hopefully you can get an idea of what you get with them. Here's the backs.
that was some of the band. Here's some of the guards. Bit of flash on that one. He looks like he's holding a spade. So, yeah, quite a few of these guards have a mold line right down the middle of their faces, which is unfortunate. Let's get that into focus. There we go. So, at some point I'm going to paint all of these up for a, just have the whole of them trooping the colour or whatever. But for now, that's a first look at the Airfix Guard and Band. I ran out of grey primer halfway through, so these are actually in red primer. So there you are. Figures that have been out of print since the 60s, maybe the 70s. Don't know what circumstances you would want to have the guards band and the colour guard. on your railway or as a diorama or whatever, but they're available again. 